We're going to do a quick breakdown of what has really happened, what are the latest developments as far as Bangladesh is concerned. Now, Foreign Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar has addressed both houses of parliament on the ongoing situation in Bangladesh. The minister's address comes after India has given shelter to former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. In his address, Dr. Jay Shankar spoke about how around Bangladesh uh, houses nearly 19,000 students, most of whom have left the country amid escalating tensions between the protesters and, of course, the previous government, which now ceases to exist. The minister further added that the Indian government is in direct contact with the authorities in Bangladesh. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a high-level security meeting of the Cabinet Committee on Security on the unrest in Bangladesh last night. Prime Minister Modi was joined by other members of the CCS, including Home Minister Amit Shah, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, Standard Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar and Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman. Amidst reports of attacks on minorities in Bangladesh, visuals from our neighborhood have emerged, which allegedly show a Hindu temple being set ablaze by protesters. At a time where minorities are fearing for their well-being in the nation, a section of citizens have stepped up and they have gone door-to-door, -door, ensuring the safety of minorities by interacting with them using a microphone. After reports of an attack on temples emerged, Bangladeshi Muslim clerics have also stepped up to voluntarily guard a Hindu temple in an area of Kumila. This gesture comes across as an attempt to reassure the minority community, which is fearing persecution amidst escalating tensions in the nation. Several reports of attacks at the ISKCON temple in Merupur, Kulna have emerged from Bangladesh. The ISKCON temple spokesperson, Yudhishthir Govindadas, confirmed the incident and said that the temple was burnt and several idols of deities Lord Jagannath, Baldev and Subhadra Devi have, however, miraculously remained intact despite the fire. According to reports, protesters were seen marching towards Noakali Hindu Mandir, allegedly once again in an attempt to vandalize it. Visuals of a Hindu temple set ablaze also emerged from another area in Pakistan, uh, in Bangladesh, pardon me. Amidst reports of attacks on minorities in the country, more visuals from the nation have emerged, which allegedly show further temples being set ablaze. However, this is, of course, uh, the latest that we're tracking from Bangladesh. We've also seen now further visuals coming in. Protesters uh, have commemorated the fall of Sheikh Hasina's government and they've taken to the streets with Bangladeshi flags. The Bangladeshi diaspora is seen celebrating in London after Sheikh Hasina tendered her resignation and fled the nation. Visuals of protesters breaking into the parliament also emerged from Bangladesh, where people could be seen clicking photographs as well as climbing the seats of the parliament that once housed the elected representatives and opposition. This is, of course, what is happening in the nation. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.